Hello guys and today I'm going to show you an introductory video on the car audio amplifier. Today I'm using the Jack-245. Now I'm making this video with the beginners in mind. If you want to your amplifier, these are the basic basic connection methods of your speaker that we will do. In the future I'll do another video where I go over all the ways that you can bridge this amplifier but to do, today I'm going to show you the most basic one. So if you have your amplifier, you must have your power supply over here. Let me switch on mine. And today I have two speakers. That's a Pioneer 6x9 speaker. I'm using that as a right speaker. And on the other side, I have another one. Also Pioneer 6x9. If you buy this speaker, they usually come in pairs. And that's it. So let me show you first. What you need first is to provide signal to all the ports at the back. And this is what you have right now. As you can see, I have provided a signal to every single port back here. So this is the cable I'm using. I check it actually has a joint over here. I'm using my smartphone over here to play the music. And I've connected all the music to come out from these ports. So I just share the music between two sides, like one, one right side and one other right side and the other left side and the other left side so this is the most important part you must provide audio track to every single channel over here this is a four channel amplifier so that means it has four channel outputs this is channel one channel two channel three and channel four i'm going to show you where the music output comes from next so at the back of the amplifier is where you get your music output from, from, you connect your speakers over here. Over here we can see the output for channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 over here, these two ports, and channel 4 over there. So this is the fuse for this amplifier. This is rated at 40 amps, so people ask if it's rated at 40 amps, do I need a power supply rated at 40 amps? And the answer is no. 40 amps is the absolute maximum this amplifier can take. If you exceed 40 amps in your input, this fuse will blow. So you can actually use a lower rating power supply. So now we are going to concentrate on channel 1 and 2 for the time being. So this is channel 2. That speaker is working. This is channel 1. This speaker is working. Now these two speakers I have connected to work as my mid-range speakers. That's the most commonly way. To work as mid-range, you see this switch over here. This means high pass filter. This is for the mid-range and the higher frequency range. And this other one is low pass filter. This is the subwoofer range and the bass range actually. When you place it at off, it's going to work as both a high pass and a low pass filter. It means that it's going to amplify both both uh, the wide range of frequencies. So normally if you have a very big speaker, you use it at off. But for mine, since I'll show you a subwoofer in, in shortly, I'm going to use it as a high pass filter. So when you use it as a high pass filter, you make sure that the super bass is set to zero and the low pass filter is set to minimum here at 40 hertz and the high pass filter you can set it to your liking that's 1.2 kilohertz and that's 80 hertz it has some little like mid bass in it so you just set it to your liking this is complete tweeter and this has some mid bass let me increase the volume so that you can hear the difference so that's how it works so this other one here this is the gain this is you you should not confuse this with your volume this is the gain you set it to a point 
where there's no distortion in your speakers. So what normally happens is that you set your input, like my phone here, you set it to a level, like a maximum level, then you use the gain. You use the gain until until a point where you hear distortion, then you just set it back down a little bit. So this is not to be confused with the volume. That was the mid-range side. Now we are going to now concentrate on this other side, the channel 3 and 4. For my case, I have set this for the bass sound. So I've actually set my selector toggle switch over here to low pass filter. This is actually going to work with the bass. So as usual, connect both signals. And again, this is the gain. You can set the super bass to any level that you like and this is the low pass filter gauge when you increase it you will hear a different tone of the bass i like it specifically at very low at 40 hertz i'm not going to increase the volume now but i'll increase it at the end of the video so that you can hear the difference so if you set it at low pass filter over here the high pass filter dial must be at minimum this i've set it at 80 hertz so what I've done to my bass speaker, I'm using this speaker over here. It's an LG speaker, LG subwoofer. You can check the size compared to the other smaller speaker. It's quite a big speaker. So what I've done to this speaker is I have bridged it. So let me turn my amplifier back around and show you how I've bridged it. So my bass speaker is connected over here. I'm, I'm using the whole range of ports, the positive on the extreme side of channel 3 and the negative on channel 4. This is how you are supposed to bridge. So this cable goes to my subwoofer down here. That's the most basic function you can use with the amplifier as a beginner. The next videos I'll show you how to add more speakers over here and how to play with the impedance. So let me give you a little bit of music so that you can hear my bass speaker. So this is just a small taste of the bass. I'm sorry if you, maybe you can't hear it through your earphones. I know the, the exact tone won't be replicated in your earphones or maybe your smartphone. But the bass from my end over here, the bass is great.
And one more thing, I bet you saw these two additional cables over here. Actually, this is the cable to the speaker that I've connected to the amplifier. And this cable, this is responsible for the lights. This speaker over here has lights at the front over here and also at the back here has some lights. I've also made a complete video about these lights, how I made them work with my amplifier. I've not connected them right now, but they work very well. Uh, also, you can find the same exact video in, the, in my video description below. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Also, before I go, I have this other gadget over here. This is an amplifier selector switch that I made. You can also get the whole video in the video description below. So how this works is that I connect my amplifier to these two ports and my other inputs to these ports. For example, I can use my TV over here, my smartphone, my laptop, and maybe a friend's phone or something over there. So what I do is just by flicking this switch, I can select the exact port I want to be amplified. A, B, C, or D. Actually, A, B, C, or D. So those ports are over here. A, B, C, and D. It's quite a good thing that I made. Okay, goodbye and thanks for watching.